Hey there, Libra. Hope your guys' this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming up for you guys this evening. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. Tell about Libra. Libra. Habits. Disappointed. Get one more. One more for Libra. Secret. Somebody's still got some habits in secret, first off. Deception, man. This person trying to come towards you with this, this, this trickery, this deception energy. This is somebody that's still operating in these bad habits. This person will disappoint you again. It's almost like they're disappointed that you're not entertaining them anymore. What's the overall energy for Libra? Self-esteem. Or, I'm sorry, I thought that was a self-esteem card. So something about this person's self-esteem for me to obviously say that, but something about this person would prefer you to be in this low self-esteem, not knowing your worth, not knowing your value. So this person doesn't take responsibility for their um, for their actions that they do. Like they don't want to, they don't, they'll like point the finger and blame other people for their problems. You don't do that. Like you take responsibility for what, for your well-being, even if you were in the wrong. That, you know, you just, you live in your truth. You don't need to, like, sidestep on anybody and say, I didn't do nothing. Like, you know what you do, and you take accountability. That's how you grow and heal from it. Like, this person doesn't take no responsibility. They blame everyone for their problems. You've been balancing out your, your life, doing it without needing the approval or the validation of anybody else. Like, you have really just really been balancing everything out in your life in all areas. And then thankful. Thankful for this life, the opportunity that present itself for you. Third eye being open, just thankful, being in this gratitude energy. It's like this person never appreciated nothing. Like they, they don't, they're not thankful for anything. Like this person's like, they're like the complete opposite of you. Forgiveness. So now this person wants to try to come back and get your forgiveness. The forgiveness is for you so you can move forward. So you're not harboring any resentment. It blocks the flow of love, guys. We're, even if even if you're wanting to be by yourself, it's still like making sure that you you forgive so it doesn't hinder your growth, guys. Libra. 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 Your chance has come. This person's time has come. It's done. It's a wrap. It's over. Like, this person's not going to be able to get what they want out of you. Like, their chance, their time has come. Time's up. It's almost like this person wanted to go around and tell everybody that your time was up. Like, they had enough of you. Like, they were going to drop you because you were this bad person. Like, trying to play the victim. Like, trying to make you look like the villain in their story enthusiasm to face the world so this is about you just having a positive positive outlook on life no matter what gets thrown your way this person doesn't like that you're enthusiastic like just and just being excited no matter what gets thrown your way everything is wonderful your life is wonderful without this person and everything is wonderful right now think about that and then think about how your life was when you were with this person the current state is safe this is about you celebrating all these challenges, even if it seems like a baby step forward. Celebrate that. Um, acknowledge your the where you've come from. It's like you've been in like a like a, a little bubble, an isolation period, just to where you um, have been really like going within and just really balancing out your your life in all areas, and it's just safe where you're at. It's almost like you're getting ready to come back out into the spotlight here. And now it's like this person is trying to figure out how to, how to, to bring something, how to bring something back alive between the two of you. But you're, you're too safe to be worried about this person trying to come back. Like this person, it's like, you didn't know where you stood with this person. You didn't have a solid, you didn't have a solid foundation with this person. And you, you just, they didn't protect and provide, like they didn't make you feel safe. Love will come. Be brave enough to accept it. So, 
letting that love come in when it's uh when it's knocking on the door I, I said earlier that that forgiveness is for you so you're not blocking the flow of love and and letting that love come in when it's when it's ready to, to make its way towards you libra magic virgo literally had these three cards come out so you could be having dealing with a Virgo, you could have Virgo placements. But this is about you finding out the magic side to you. You could be exploring met, metaphysical, just um, just exploring the um, the the magical side of you, the the way that you can manifest, the way that you turn. It's like magic, like you turn, you make things look easy, like it's it's you have this magical side to you. Manifestations by staying focused on what I want, I manifest it, and that's what you're doing too. Staying focused on your manifestations and not letting anybody knock you off what you got going on. Tolerance. I am tolerant. I cooperate with others and willingly compromise when it's for the greater good. So this person is trying to get you to compromise something with them. But this is someone that wanted you to tolerate their behavior. I feel like you dealt with their, be tolerated their, their BS for long enough. And now you're just not giving this person any more access to you anymore. So it's like this person still wants you to like... It's like, it's like you, it's like you, you have this meter and it's like you, like your, your bull crap meter has like, it's, it's broken. Like this person broke it. Like you, you can't like, it's done. You can't look at this person the same. Like you're, you will never let anyone, um, never tolerate anyone to treat you this way again. To replenish my soul, I take time to connect with nature. So some of you guys, um, replenish when you're sitting out in the, um, out in nature you could hike or just really just sit in the ground just just really just sitting there and just really uh putting your feet on the ground earthing too obviously don't do it when it's where it's cold where I'm at right now but just really grounding yourself whether that's in nature not in nature but just really recharging and replenishing yourself just um getting away from like the the busy life that the busyness that life throws at us and just really like secluding yourself and just being in that beautiful nature scenery libra libra oh. come home to your body so this is about you breathing life and existence back into your body this is about you coming back to your home your center before the world conditioned you and got its hands on you and told you that you got to do this and you need to do that and you need to do this this is you coming home to you who you are and definitely with this magic side some of you guys just are otherworldly, like ethereal, like you're not from here. So some of you guys may just feel lost, like you don't know, like like you want to go home, but you don't know where your home is. It's because you, you're, you're otherworldly. The world is blessed to have you. You are a beacon of light and hope for the world, and we are blessed to have you. So continue doing that work. It's, it's beautiful. It's necessary. I see you. Abundance is a state of mind. Absolutely. Keeping that prosperous mindset. Knowing that you can have anything that your heart desires. So I am really picking up on somebody whose thoughts and words create their reality. And you are definitely learning that about yourself. Beautiful. So you got too much good things to be focusing on to be worried about this person trying to creep back into your life. Tell you about habits. Bad habits. Some of you guys could have had some bad habits, but that's all part of your healing and your growth is pulling yourself out of those habits. I'll tell you about habits. So this person's still got some habits as well. Drinking, smoking, sex addictions. Somebody's got a bad habit of uh, leaning on others to... Something about having a bad habit about leaning leaning on others to make, make them feel important, make them feel worthy. Like... Some of you guys had like some kind of, it's like a codependency issue here. Like having to need somebody to feel important. And somebody let a lot of bad habits get between your connection here. And it's like, this is like you having like, like this, this commitment towards yourself. Like never letting anybody, um, or these habits, if you suffer from these habits, not letting any anything or any habit get in the way of your happiness ever again. So it's almost like this is like um, recommitting all over to yourself again. So this is like this higher self and yourself connecting here. Tell me more about habits. Habits. 
Somebody got a bad habit of jumping in from relationship to relationship as well. Because there's, like I said, it's like a codependency energy. It's somebody that they, they, they have to have somebody to feel important. And if you felt this way, that's part of your growth. Like you don't have to have anybody to make you feel important. Tell me more about habits. Sorry if I repeat myself, guys. I just, I just go with it. Three of Pentacles. So there's something here about this person having some kind of a bad habit of trying to get people to work against you. Some of you guys just having some, um, some, just some habits of not, you know, just not wanting to entertain any more of these, these low vibing connections, whether it's love, whether it's friends, whether it's just people that you have to be around because of your work, your job. And that's part of like something that someone's switching up here too, is like not wanting to work the regular nine to five job. Like you're like, you can't be around all that, that just all of that, just that low vibing energy. Like it's just, it's not for you. And I, I get it, man. I get it. So it's like this person is trying to freaking have a, this habit of trying to get you back in here, but you see you see this person for who they are. You you seen them at their worst when you were in a connection, and a lot of you guys, this person brought out the worst in you, and it's like it's almost like it was part of like a, it was necessary for part of your growth because you are seeing where where you need to change some things up, what you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate. And it's just really paved the way for new things to, to come into your life now. This person's got this ego. This is a very lustful energy. So somebody's definitely got a bad habit of wanting to try to sleep around, using sex to try to fix something here. And something here about your ego, just um, lowering your ego and asking your wounds some important questions. And you clearly have been doing that. See, it's like this person wants to try to, like, they they look at you as, this person thinks that you're arrogant and boastful because the way you hold your head up high and that you are still loving and nurturing dis despise all the stuff that was thrown at you. Like, this person doesn't like that you have this just this don't care attitude, not a care in the world. But I feel like a lot of you guys do, but it's just the way that you're able to, like, not let people see that side of you. And it's not in a bad way. It's just that you're not going to rain on other people's parades because you're having a bad day type of energy. So this person's trying to figure out how to offer this love back to you. But this person's still stuck in habits. See, this person is feeling... Um, they feeling rejected by you. A lot of you guys are just tired of people letting you down. There's something here about just no longer letting this person or this these habits, this situation, no longer letting anything let you down anymore. This person's trying to reappear back into your life, make it seem like nothing ever happened, but you're not, you're done. You're over it. And this is somebody that's still like this this person's the 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 other energy I'm picking up, like this person's in denial about their habits. This is somebody that'll play these games, trying to one up, playing that tit for tat. Like that's part of this person's habits too. Like they still play in some of these games. They like to play games, stupid games and win stupid prizes. And this person's got a bad habit of wanting to dump all their burdens onto you. And then some of you guys had habits of taking on people's problems um, and trying to fix people's problems when that person didn't want to reciprocate that back to you. So that's like no longer giving that side of you to anyone that wants to try to take advantage of that. You got to be careful of people that you that you go out of your way to help. Like because it's like with those tables turn like this. You, there's people that you would help that wouldn't even help you. So you've got to really use your discernment. Talking about disappointed son because something here is you see something for what it is and there's something here about this person feeling disappointed because they're seeing how your life is getting better you're you're manifesting everything's working out in your favor and now this person doesn't want you to get over something the ten of swords in reverse like this person would rather you be disappointed feeling lost not having no lack or drive in life so it's like they're trying to come back in here and try to to get you to not fully release this and be done with them but you you know this person will just disappoint you again like this person's trying to gain victory over you there's something about this person being disappointed about your victory the success that you're having the way that you inspire people some of you guys are definitely in the public eye but this person's disappointed that you are able to just 
carry on your life and just make it look easy. Like, I feel like this person tried to do a lot of things to try to, to slander you, try to hurt you, try to get you to look like a villain here, but you still kept your, your pride and you, and it's not an ego pride either. It's a healthy pride for your loving yourself pride. And you just kept it pushing. This person's so disappointed about how successful that you are. Disappointed because you're loving yourself. Something about you trusting your intuition, pouring back into yourself, nurturing yourself. You're not going to let this person disappoint you anymore. And you are definitely being more selective with who gets this, this energy. This person's disappointed because you're moving your life on and your life is getting better. Like you got out of all the triggers that this person tried to throw your way. Like you're out of it. And now this person's disappointed because of all the changes that you've made. This person's disappointed in your destiny. This wheel turning in your favor. Like this person, they thought that you were going to stay stuck in life. Not making no changes, not progressing. And boy, are they getting a big old dose of uh, F around and find out. Because they are clearly seeing that your life is taking off beautifully. So this person's disappointed about your changes. This person tried to create illusions, try to manipulate you. And you're just, you're over it. You know that you've got everything that you need to to create the life that you want. And it's like this person is not happy with their life. So they want to try to come and mess with yours. Tell me about secret. The person's been spying on you in secret. Observing you. See, this person sees that you've had your awakening. Like you've had this enlightenment. And they've been watching you. They've been watching how you, how you think, how you speak, what you're doing here. There's something here about this person worried about you finding out something. It's like this person could be trying to come back towards you in secret too. Like, So make sure that you're seeing something for what it is. This person's trying to get you to look at something differently and they're trying to keep you stuck. But there's something here about secrets. Something about a secret from the past. There could be a secret child here for somebody. This person, it's almost like this person knows that there's something here in particular that you found out that that would like be like the end, but I still feel like it is the end, no matter what, like this person. So this could be like a past life lesson needed to be learned. Some of you known from a past life, just there's something here about the past that is still a secret with this person. Something about finances. And then I feel like this person's trying to come towards you because they see that your life is taking off and you've got all these, um, this generational wealth that you're creating here. And I'm telling you, this person's trying to offer you loyalty, stability, and secret though. Is that, for some of you, this person's only coming back because of your finances and then they want to try to offer you this love, but they're doing it in secret. They're trying to make something right with you in secret. And something about... Some of you guys have some kind of court case. There's something here that's not seen yet, but it's like it's going to be coming to the surface or it will. Tell me about deception. Just keep manifesting the truth to come out, guys. Tell me about deception. 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 Page of Cups, man. That's uh, that's a deceptive apology, man. That's a phony, phony baloney apology. They don't mean it. Tell me more. They're not even in the water. Like, it's this... Mm -mm. Tell me more about deception. Tell me more about deception. Okay, see, this person wants to try to hold you back. They're trying to hold on to you. And it's like they're definitely trying to hold back that, that they're not being honest with you, that they still some habits here for someone. And it's like they, they thought by holding back from you that it would have made you made your life fall apart but all it did was like it it had the the a totally different effect on you so this is somebody here that's very ego driven very lustful somebody that's like power hungry wanting to, try, to have control so this person's like how dare you get away and how dare you be better so i'm gonna come towards you with this deception and i'm going to open up and, and share feelings with you but it's not sincere I'm going to end up hurting you and rejecting you again because I'm not happy with my life so I want to mess with yours and it's something about this person not not liking to be told no like if you sh tell them no or you can't you're not doing it like who hmm. this person tries to come back at a later time and they try to try to hurt you for that Five of Swords, uh-huh, playing games, manipulating, wanting, doing things to hurt you, trying to one-up you. 
So this person's going to say and do whatever they have to to try to get you back in their life. And then this is someone here that's very burdened. This person is not happy with with how your it's all about how your life is looking. Like this person wanted you to fall apart and not be able to make it and it's almost like they want to try to get back in here to finish it off. I don't like it. Keep this the strength keeping your silence. Not letting this person trigger you, not reacting, responding. This person didn't realize how strong you were. And now this person knows that you've closed out this cycle and you clearly have better cycles opening up. And this person is trying to convince you to stay stuck in this loop of toxicity with them. Don't let this person try to make you feel bad for them because this person will guilt trip you, play the victim. Because this person is clearly like really made it out to seem like you were the bad guy in their story. And it's like now they want to try to come toward you and apologize because they know that you have your guard up now. And that you ain't playing around because this person's done too much and you're not going to fall for it again. I've got water, earth, Leo, air, air, Pisces, water, earth, fire, water, and water here. So deception coming toward you with this deception, man. So this person never gave you closure. This is someone that will ghost you. This person didn't expect for you to give yourself the closure. So they're going to try to come towards you and let's have the final talk. Don't give them that respect. Did they respect you when you wanted to ask what was going on? And no, they left you high and dry, left, leaving you to figure out things on your own. So give them the same respect back. Coming in here with this mask on. Trying to tell you that they want this commitment with you now. This person... This person doesn't like that you've been avoiding avoiding them. So it's like they want to try to come in, there, in here and hurt you for that. But you've been avoiding them because of these red flags. But I feel like this person was avoiding you at one time too. It's, it's all fun and games when they're doing it to you. But when you give that energy back to them, they, don't, they can't handle it. Libra. Nature calls. Ground yourself. Connect with nature. Take a breather. That wanted to stick to my hand. So definitely grounding yourself when this person tries to come back here for you. Tell me more. Magical gateway. Go for it. On the right path. Wonderful new beginning. So just keep trusting what you're doing here. Keep continuing going down your path here. A big heart. Genuine love. Kind, loving, and generous can be trusted with your heart. So this person is trying to get you to trust them again. And then there's something here about if for the ones that are wanting a new relationship, wanting genuine love, somebody, wanting somebody kind, loving, and generous. So a lot of you guys are going to be having like a healthy love connection coming towards you if that's what you're wanting here. That's part of your manifestations as well. Tell me more. Exploring the waters. There's something better. Keep your options open. So, yes, keep your options open when it comes to this past person. Don't take them back. Ocean of tears. So this person's going to tell you that they're they're having a loss without you. They're sad. They're heartbroken. Regrets. Mistakes. But this is somebody that had you in this energy at one time. It's like a crabby. Like they're crabby that you're doing better without them. So now it's like a rat. There's a rat there too. So it's like they're a rat. This is like a rat that... You know how they call it like a rat when it's somebody on the inside and they try to like get in there and like mess everything up? That's just what this person wants to do. So this person's just going to have to sit there and just feel sad because where were they at when you were going through this? Two possibilities at a crossroads. So this is somebody that wants to try to come toward you like this. It's almost like this past person knows that like this, this situation's at a critical stage like where it's not able to be repaired anymore and there's something about this person trying to get you to stop exploring options they don't want you to open back up for new love straw into gold alchemy reviving what was lost creating something out of nothing and that's what this person's seeing you do like you know how to alchemize I'm telling you, this person's jealous of you too. Scared of losing you. Don't want to share. Protective. So this is a very jealous person that tries to keep control over you. So 
And then when they can't control you, they try to control how everyone else looks at you. Consuming passion, lustful desire, sexual chemistry, infatuation. So making sure that we don't fall into the arms of someone else like this. But this person's trying to, to get you back in this energy of just consuming nothing but passion from them. Lady Venus, beauty and grace, romantic, sexual love, exploring your desires. So this is about you just knowing who you are, loving who you are, um, knowing your importance, knowing that you are just uh, picking up on a very attractive energy here. So you're just this beauty and grace. This person's trying to come towards you in this romantic energy gesture towards you don't don't buy it roll the dice taking a risk roll with it so this person's trying to, to come towards you with this risky behavior they want you to just roll with what they're doing to you they they just want you to keep tolerating it like who does this person think they are libra groupy energy so this person could have tried to uh, recruit a bunch of people to try to come up against you. Just remember how powerful you are if you've got to have a group of people try to come up against you. So this is like this person still entertaining these groupies. So that's part of someone's bad habits too is just entertaining all these options still. So don't, don't transfer that energy with this person because you'll be transferring all this groupie energy with you too. So this person says and does anything. They make stuff up. They're very dramatic. They exaggerate everything. And this person could say this is what you do too. Because it's all about trying to make you the bad guy. This person tries to use scarcity tactics to try to, to make people look at you in a bad light. They try to make you kind of... It's, it's kind of like making you... It's still like of a way of controlling you. Trying to use these scarcity tactics to keep you stuck. So this person thinks that sex fixes something. This person still has a secret lover. This is somebody that's trying. And if you have a new love, this person is trying to. Or if you, in the future, this could be a prediction. Like this person will try to come in here and, and try to get, um, have a, a, a love affair with you. And try to get you to step out on a new person. Tell me more. Boss daddy energy. Stable rich. CEOs. So... You are definitely manifesting like some some big, big energy for yourself. And I feel like that for the ones that want love, like you are definitely attracting this boss daddy energy towards you. So and it's like this past person wants to try to come back and make it seem like they on that same energy as you. But this is a happiness hater, man. This is somebody that's not hap not happy that you're happy. They hate that you're happy. So now this person wants to figure out. Where you're spending your time. Some of you guys could be going out on coffee dates. Or some of you guys could be getting together. Just um, discussing like career paths and things like that. Because there's something to do with offers with your manifestations here. And then this person acts like like if they don't got no facts about you. They, they make it up. Like they make it up just to get attention. Moving in silence. Continue to do that. Don't let everybody know what you got going on. What you're trying to manifest here. What you're... What you're finding out about yourself, who you are, move in silence. Somebody's having car issues. You guys could have had a car repossessed. This person could have had a car repossessed. But there's something here about somebody not doing good in the car department. And you're over here hustling, making it rain, focused on the money, getting in the bag. So it's like, for some of you, this person's coming back because they look at you as this cash cow and they want in on that. Libra. Running. So this person tried to run from you, ghost you, try to slander you, and now they want to try to come back and they don't like it now that you're running away. See, you didn't have to go out and try to slander them. Like you didn't like you were too focused on trying to better yourself and be a better person. That's where the difference lies between the two of you. Tell me more. distance creating a distance this person didn't think that you was going to create a distance they thought by leaving you out in the cold they thought that this would like gain more control over you but all it did was blow up in their face because now you're realizing I like it better without this person around in my life it's quieter it's peaceful I'm able to manifest I'm able to explore who I am and not have to worry about this judgmental person always constantly poking at me like this 
this is someone that will literally sit there and, and make fun of you and poke at you because they they could have, this person like really tries to downplay who you are let's just say so creating a space creating blockages not no longer letting this person create blockages in your life so the more that you create a distance from this person the more that better your manifestations will come in it's like this person wants to try to separate you from new love and separate you from your, your blessings, your manifestations. Don't let them do that. See, this past person is going to tell you the same thing they did before. They're going to do and say the bare minimum to keep you hanging on to hope that you'll keep hanging on and you'll keep entertaining this. And this is about you taking your life day by day, trusting who you are, learning about who you are, and just, just really just not so... Um, not so focused on where you're going, just being in the here and the now and just loving, loving what you're doing with your life. Tell me more. Twin flame connection. This person's trying to mirror you. Some of you guys, this person could be your twin flame. Some of you guys have not yet met your twin flame. Some of you guys are meant to go more on like this journey and the twin flame is part of that. So just make sure you don't use these titles. Don't let them keep you stuck here. So this person shattered, broken. They thought they destroyed you. They very well had you broken for, for a minute, but you put yourself back together. Masculine energy. So this masculine energy is trying to trying to get back into your good graces. And a lot of you guys are in your masculine energy protecting yourself, these boundaries, and just really um just really um making sure that this person doesn't try to come in here and take away from your happiness anymore. So this person purposely had you open up and be intimate with them. They wanted you to share things about yourself to them. And then they would take that and use that against you later. It's disgusting. So there's something here about this person trying to come back and bond with you. Wanting you to be intimate. And there's something here definitely about a family dynamic. Somebody could be pregnant here. I kept getting that. Like there's a secret pregnancy here for somebody. There's definitely a family dynamic. And somebody's stressed out. Somebody is arguing with someone else right now somebody is knows that you're no longer like it's like build up tension somebody's got some build up tension somebody's stressed now and it's like somebody's trying to escape their reality by pushing you away and, and avoiding doing the work but and they're used to you chasing after them and you're not and now that you are done chasing and you've made changes and you stepped into your resilience now they want to come back and tell you that they've made a mistake and oh it was a misunderstanding this person's a lost soul. This person loves to play the victim. Libra. Thank you. Of course you will make mistakes, but the biggest one would... would blah, blah. Of course you will make mistakes, but the biggest one would be not to try. You have nothing to lose. This thing you have been thinking about for a long time, just go for it. Better an oops than a what if. We are here to support you. So this is about you taking and, you know, taking those risks and going towards what you want. If you fall, it's okay. It's a mistake, but you get back up and you learn from it. This stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy, financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings your way. So beautiful. So don't, don't let this person try to come back in here and don't be taking this person back because it's, you know, it's, this person's a bad habit that clearly has kicked. It's done. But this person's got a lot of secrets and they're not being honest when they try to come back towards you. So don't let this person get in the way of what you're trying to create with your life here. All right, my beautiful Libra. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Sending you guys so much light and love. I'll see you guys later.